This posting, hello everyone, serious face. This is Melissa, the M of the MNH of this book hairstyles. Are you well? Are you good? This posting is for sister lock lovers, sister locks inquirers, and sister locks friends. Have you got a question about sister locks that you've wanted to be answered and you haven't found the answer? Maybe I can help. If I can't, I'll let you know. I don't know. But I'm going to try the month of August to do postings, question and answers, quick question and answers, all about sister locks. First, let me quickly show you my hair and why I love sister locks. I have a posting on why I, have, I love sister locks, but let's update it. This is today, and this is my um, hair today. It's a retro style. Before, it was up and quite sharp, brought together. And I've just, this time I've just rolled it. And what I love about it, my hair's about this length. So it, because it, I've spread it out, it feels like I'm carrying my hair and there's a weightlessness about my hair that I love. So here, this is the left. I think you can see my, no, the accessories on the other side. Okay, so the left, it's an inverted, um, I've done to the back. And actually I had it like this for the Uzima event. And thank you, Naomi Rain. Thank you, Naomi Rain. I love you. Thank you for the positive feedback about also about bespoke hairstyles and about my hair because I love sparkle and I and, I, and I, I get kind of like I do it a lot and sometimes I don't know whether I've done it too much but your feedback makes me know I'm, I'm on point with it so thank you Naomi and it was lovely meeting you and so this is the back inverted and let me show you the other side where which I've accessorized right flower in and um, this is the left. And I've been to roll it, but I haven't really. I've kind of like squashed it in because I mean, in a, I'm always busy in a bit of a hurry. So I've not done it kind of properly. But anyway, it works and I love it. And I've had this like this now for 48 hours. 24 hours? 24 hours, sorry. And, and it's an example of why I love sister locks. So what is sister locks? Sister locks on average is about 400 plus small locks on your head. It has been installed with via a grid formation. So when you look at somebody who's got newly tightened locks, you will see little squares. Those little, the, the grid pattern allows for you to style your hair in a much more versatile way. It means that you can have straight lines if you want, um, but it also means that you can just kind of play around a bit more with your hair. And because the locks are so small, it means you have many of them, which enables the fullness. Um, I love the look of traditional locks, but I knew it wasn't for me because I didn't want gels. Sister locks, there are no gels used. It's just the sister locks tool. Um, interwoven, woven within itself. The hair is interwoven. The tool is used to help interweave the hair within itself. Um, traditional locks has gel or waxes used. Um, and I just didn't want additional stuff onto my hair because I know hair has weight. And I didn't want whatever was used to be attracting lint into my hair because that's an additional weight. So we've got the gel, we've got the lint attraction, and obviously the weight of our hair. And I just didn't want that. So with sister locks, as it grows, yes, there's a heaviness with it, but there is also a lightness because it's nothing else is used bar, bar the tool, basically. And um, that is used to with the hair. So it's literally you're just using your hair. And... Um, what I would say is that you enjoy sister locks even more when you're coming up to your second year. So in the beginning, when your hair is interwoven within itself, yes, it's trying to lock, but it's also trying to resist. But when your hair is locked, this is when you will enjoy sister locks. Because now I can just wash and go. I can wash my hair twice a week. I can wash my hair every week on average I wash my hair. And I can just wash and go. And my hair feels light. And I can do styles like this. So this is what sister locks is. It is interlocking the hair within itself. And yes, I call it interlocking. I feel that sister locks is interlocking. The difference is there are different interlocking patterns used on a client's hair, dependent on what's going on in their hair. Are they suffering hair loss? Is there a density issue? Um, do we need it fuller? Do we need it brought down? And sometimes the locking pattern that myself and I get starts with isn't a locking pattern that eventually we continue locking our client's hair uh, 
we first try and encourage your hair to look. And then we'll then look at it and review it. And then maybe we might change it a pivot to give you fullness or to bring the hair down. Um, and that's the difference between interlocking and sister locks. There are things that you need to consider to enable there to be more movement and fullness to your hair. And it leads me on. Maybe the next thing I'm going to talk about is why do some sister locks look so flat? Why do some sister locks look too thin? And why do some sister locks just look limp and lifeless? Um, and I'll try and answer that in my next posting. Thank you for watching this posting. I hope I haven't missed out on anything. I've said to you that it's not no use of gel. A tool is used. A grid formation is used. There's about 400 plus locks onto your hair. And don't ask me how many locks I've got in my hair because I've never ever had the motivation to count it. So I know it's 400 plus. And it's precise grid patterns that are installed into your hair. And, the, and your locks are uniform to enable the versatility of styling. And that's what sister locks is. Thank you for watching this posting. Take care of you. I'm going to talk about certain problems that people might see when it comes to looking at sister locks for fullness and all of that. Thank you. Thank you. I'll stop waffling on now. Goodbye. Bye.